Hey guys, Gamer James here. Thank you very much for clicking play. Well, it has been a big announcement day today. FM18, as we know, was announced a few weeks ago. It's coming out at the beginning of November. We're just, what, six weeks away now? Probably about four weeks from the beta. And today, the announcement video, the first in a series of announcement videos dropped. Um, it didn't give an awful lot away, but what it did give away hints at a very very good game coming up this year so first of all the presentation i thought was really really good it was done as a um, kind of like a news broadcast uh, it was it involved a couple of um a couple of the bigger guys in the community you had uh, work the space and um so the gaming can as well so you kind of get the feeling that they've been given the inside uh, the inside scoop so what they say I think we can pretty much take as gospel so all this video is we're going to just have a look at the screenshots from the end of the video and we're just going to try and just dig in a little bit and see what we can expect from this year's game so as I mentioned uh, we had Jack Peachman of obviously known as work the space um, he was talking about a big overhaul in the match engine in the uh, match tactics uh, that managers can take on and new player roles as well improved ai all that sort of thing the really interesting thing about um about his piece was the tv screen next to him you can see there there's a rendering of a stadium uh, and it looks as though i mean why would that be there if that's not part of the game right i mean the, it would be pointless there's no no need for it to be there that definitely looks like it's going to be uh, part of the whole match day presentation it looks nice um, and would certainly account for some of the uh, astronomical rise in storage space needed of course if you remember it's gone from 3 gig to 7 gig needed for the install um, if you've got that sort of spinny 3d fancy stadium intro then that's going to account for a lot of that that's nice but it's just sugar coating for me I it's the same as FIFA and Pro Evo I don't watch the build-up to the game I press start as soon as I can to get to kickoff so that it's a nice feature but it's not one that's necessary for me what I'm interested in is under the hood is the tactics is the training um, which was touched on in the video but that will be something that's coming up in more detail down the line I'm sure because there was not even a screenshot about the training um, in this video um, so yeah we've it's basically Jack was saying more about uh, potentially motion capture for the players but it's it's new match engine new graphics engine which was confirmed by Miles as well in his little Harry Redknapp interview in this car um, but it all points to a very exciting match day experience in the game um, now the gaming can talked a lot about dynamics this is seems to be the key word this this game this is the buzzword isn't it uh, dynamics and here is a screenshot from the end of the video I'll link to the video I'm sure you've watched it already but uh, I will put a link to the uh, football manager YouTube channel to their breaking news video uh, for this um, you can see here so dynamics looks like it's all about the squad harmony uh, you can see you've got a hierarchy um, you've got like team leaders highly influential players influential players and then other players who I guess are possibly players that are a little bit more passive um, a little bit, bit more introvert possibly ones that aren't happy at the club um, just those that aren't part of the click um, so your team leaders obviously your captain your vice captain um, you probably have highly influential players might be a third choice player for captain um, then some influ influential players those will be the ones that you pick every week that play every week and your other players it could just be fringe players things like that um, but if we get onto this screen as well for the dynamics this is really interesting because um, you've got kind of like your clicks your social groups um, so you've got your core social group which are kind of I guess the um, being at the club a long time it says doesn't it um, generally spirited and who have been at the club for a similar length of time so that's that's kind of the uh, the nucleus I guess the spine of your squad I mean there's a lot of players there they're using Watford of course um, then you've got secondary social group A um, I don't know how many of those there are I guess um, these are ones on this example similar age and mostly Greek so I'm guessing that'll be kind of players that speak the same languages players that are from the same countries things like that then you've got others and these are players that currently don't fit into any social group this may be because they're a new signing or they're not settling in possibly the players that are 
got transfer requests or uh, looking to leave or unhappy or unsettled. So it looks like this new game is going to focus heavily, heavily on squad harmony. Now this screen is your tactic setup. Now the first thing that strikes me is it's very cluttered. It looks really, really squashed together. Um, I mean, the bit on the right, on the far right here, where you've got your tactics, you've got your, your tactical setups, your three formations that you can learn, your mentality, your team shape. Of course, that's normally across the top of the screen, isn't it? For some reason, it's been squished onto the right hand side. Um, it, look, it's something that we'll get used to, I'm sure. If that is how it looks in the final game, of course, I mean, every screenshot here says work in progress. Um, the one thing I do like is the, the team chemistry thing that we seem to have. You can see on the pitch, you've got the green, the red. It's very much like the um, the Pro Evo My Club or the FIFA Ultimate Team, uh, the team chemistry. Uh, and that could be crucial going, uh, going through the game, going through your seasons. Um, the yellow line between the winger and the right back there, I'm not 100% sure what that's all about. You've kind of got a couple of them as well, haven't you, in the midfield and the centre backs as well. That possibly indicates a strength of understanding. Um, it seems to be quite green between those those lines, doesn't it? So that could be that they like to play together. It could be that they like to um, uh, sort of like interchange the ball with each other. They're happy to play on in the same sort of area of the park as each other. Um, that'll be interesting to see going forward. Um, another big thing was the medical centre. This is totally new. It's got its own. Uh, own tab on the left which is brilliant one thing as well just quickly I've noticed as well is the under 23s and the under 18s have been moved down to the bottom which I really really like um, because then it's it's you've got your you've got your inbox your squad your dynamics your tactics your team you've got all the first team bits there all together and then you've got your backup teams your reserves your youths and I really like that that's just a, it's a it's a little change but it's a really nice little change that's going to make a big difference, I think. So this is the medical center. This is a new new feature. This looks really good. This looks like it's going to be really, really good going forward. Um, you can see at the top, you've got the overview. You've got risk assessment, which I'm guessing is kind of like that report you get before a match that says capable of playing or should only play 45 minutes or don't play. Then you've got the current injuries, your he injury history and your season summary. So it looks like a very detailed part of the game. Um, you can see here your sports scientist, which again, your data analysts and your sports scientists are going to be big in this game now. They don't do anything really, do they? But they in FM17, but in FM18, we're led to believe there's going to be massive importance on these guys. You can see there they're saying we have seen a 8% decrease in injuries so far this season to what we would expect. So, you know, I guess hiring backroom staff is actually going to have a little bit of an impact this time um if we go to this screen of the medical center as well it kind of gives you this is the injury history screen uh so it gives you players that have missed the most days in the last 12 months um it gives you all your injuries currently in the main bit of the screen the date they were injured how severe the injury is how they got it who it was against if it was in a match who's treating them how long they're out it's really really good it's a really um, a really simple screen, but it contains so much information. You can see in the middle at the top there, um, just like you're having your coaching set up um, in your staff, it shows you how you rate against the, the competition, and it's doing this again now with the um, with the injuries, and that's that's quite good as well. And as I say, there's a lot of information on that screen, and I love it. So scouting as well, this is a big thing that's been um, revamped apparently. Uh, this is what Miles as well has confirmed in his little car interview. Completely revamped. This is going to make a big difference going forward, just like Squad Harmony. You're going to have to really do your homework on any potential signings now because they're going to have to fit in. They're going to have to get on with the players that they're playing with. They're going to have to get on in the dressing room. It's going to be massively important that you sign the right type of players now you can see as well the top right scouting budget is now going to cost you money to scout players that is massive as well because even if you've been in debt you've still been able, if you've got scouts you've always been able to send them out whereas now you're going to have to really budget for how far afield you cast your net. If if you're not a, if you're not a Barcelona, you're not a Real Madrid, you're not a Manchester United, 
you might not be able to go and scout the far flung corners of the globe you might have to stick to just mainland europe or scandinavia and that sort of thing and that is something that you're really going to have to work on and again depending on how far afield you can scout will depend on the scouts that you get because there's no point scouting a guy who's brilliant in south america if you can't afford to send him there to scout is there um so this is the other screenshot from the scouting as well it kind of um, this is basically breaking down what it's going to cost you to scout a certain area. So the package is owned, determine the amount of players available to search through, as well as increasing the knowledge level and player role visibility of players covered. Youth packages cover players 21 and under. So you can see if you're going to send uh, your scouts looking in the, all over the world for both, it's going to cost you 60 grand a month to get them uh, to scout the whole world. Um, or it can break down to Europe, the UK and Ireland, England, a certain league. Uh, it's, oh, it's, it's really, really in-depth now, the scouting, and it's something that has needed to happen. Uh, it's, it's just kind of been stagnant, like the training. It's just been really stagnant over the last few versions of the game. This looks like it's making a real, real big impact on FM18. And of course, from scouting, you have transfers, and this is the transfer centre. Uh, this is where you look at all the players that you're bidding on. Uh, you've got your director of football tab. Then you've got loans, your transfer clauses, and your transfer history. Again, it's just been totally redesigned. It looks really, really nice as well. It's going to look really good when doing YouTube videos to be able to have all this sort of information here. It's going to look beautiful. Uh, of course, you've got your transfer budget remaining, your wage budget available. Uh, you've got your clauses that are available to buy or sell, which are nice. You don't have to click through there are two or three menus to get to them they're right there you can presumably just click on that and then go and sell it or buy the clause if you need to um, and then yeah you can you've got your transfer activity in the main part of the screen and it just looks beautiful doesn't it it really really does it's simple but very effective and this was one thing as well that um, Curtis the gaming can that said about was it was a kind of little um, a Columbo moment at the end of his little piece wasn't it, it was oh just one more thing on my way out I was told about the draft um, it's not something I've ever really got into the draft I love the idea of it but it's just finding the time to sit down and play it when I can sit down and play I want to progress the save that I'm doing on YouTube um, but this just looks brilliant um, this screen it, it's very very smooth very very clean isn't it it's, it just in keeping with the other screenshots that we've seen the whole the whole skin of the game just looks fantastic it it looks as though Personally, for me, I'll be going forward using just the default skin because I really, really like the look of it. Um, I love, you can see here, can't you? You've got your player name and then you've got under the position, you've got this little graphic that with the dots that shows you where they can play and how good they are in that position. And I really, really like that. I hope that's in, uh, in, just in all areas of the game and not just in the draft. And you see it here, this is the squad for your draft. I love the little trading card appearance of the players i think it just it just adds so much again it's just really clean isn't it you can just look at it and you just exactly know what you've got there you're not looking at a spreadsheet of players you're actually looking at a graphical uh, representation of where they can play i mean you look at kiko Firmenia, for instance you know you can see immediately that he's a natural all the way up the right and he's pretty decent in most of the positions down the left and just like that you know exactly where you can play him in your team i love it Okay, guys, uh, that is it. We've gone through all the screenshots. Um, we've chatted about the video. I cannot wait now. I'm really, really excited uh, for FM18. The beat is going to be out in around about four weeks. Um, I can't wait to get started on it. Um, there are some videos coming out from, uh, from SI in the next few weeks, uh, over the next month or so. So I'm guessing we'll probably get between two and four. It depends whether they do it every week or every couple of weeks. I guess it depends how much they want to reveal doesn't it um the big things that we'll probably be looking at would be in the next video might be the training um because there is a lot of talk that that's going to be totally revamped and it needs it um there's uh, probably a gameplay trailer as well you would imagine and maybe a bit more information on things like the dynamics and things like that and maybe the new player roles and tactical input that the manager can have things like that um, and your backroom staff, of course, the sports scientists, the data analysts, maybe there'll be a little bit more on what it is that they will actually do for you. Um, Curtis Gamer can did say about he wanted to see 
um, a reflection like the transfer fees um, going by the Neymar and the Dembele transfers over the summer and the Coutinho rumours and things like that I think that definitely needs to happen I said it in my original video for the uh, for FM18 didn't I I want to see the transfers really overhauled the AI part of that Miles said the AI over the whole game has been improved on and off the pitch so that is huge news as well it's looking like FM18 it's going to be a massive upgrade in the series and not just FM 17.5. A lot of people said FM 17 was just kind of like a halfway house. It wasn't really a massive upgrade on the 16. Um, so I cannot wait to see what is coming in the next few weeks. Four weeks till the beta, six weeks till the game. Bring it on. I cannot wait. I am so excited now. Guys, get involved. Let me know in the comments. What did you think of the video? Did you like the presentation? I thought it was really cool. I thought it was really good. Um, what did you think of the, uh, the little video of the match engine? We haven't talked about that in here, have we? The little highlight didn't look an awful lot different to currently, but I thought it looked a lot smoother. Um, I thought the re animations are a little bit more realistic, but drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what you think of what's been announced so far, what you hope will be announced in the future. And of course, drop a like, subscribe. I'm on 168 at the minute. I'd love to be at 200 before uh, FM18 drops. So make sure you share around, tell your friends, get them to hit that sub button. Let's join FM18 together. See you later, guys.